many job seekers, especially freshers, come to me asking one simple question. And that is, which field I should choose, which will give me more progress in the future. Because when you're standing at a junction of four or six roads, you'll be confused which one to choose, right? And that is where we need a mentor. Now, in today's fast life, getting a mentor is very difficult. And of course, you can always uh, book an appointment with, with me and you can talk to me. But since I can be only available physically for each one of you for the 24 hours which I have got, so I thought, why not make a video for this repetitive question? So today I'm going to show you a Venn diagram which will clear your mind of all the confusions, all the doubts, and at the same time, you will give you a crystal clear idea about what you should be doing next in your career. Now, to start with, we have to know this, that no one, absolutely no one is immune to industry demand. So the first circle of this Venn diagram, which I'm about to make, is industry demand. So I'll write it here. Now you, I or anybody, nobody is immune to industry demand. For example, during COVID, the demand for PCR, QPCR was very high, right? Testing. So can you deny that? No, it has to be there. So more technicians will be required there. But right now it's not required. So the demand is declining, right? So industry demand, what is the current demand that we have to understand? Because we want the job today. So that's the first thing we have to keep in mind. Now, what is the next thing we have to keep in mind? Now, next thing which we have to keep in mind is something which will never go out of fashion. So let me draw another circle. Something which will never go out of fashion, right? never goes out of fashion. So currently, for example, like I said, QPCR technicians were required in COVID, but right now it's not required. So the demand has gone down. So if you are a QPCR technician, probably you're not needed. So never goes out of fashion. Now the thing which we have to know is something which is the industry demand right now also, but will never go out of fashion in the future because my career is going to be here for the next 60 years, right? Your career is going to be here for the next 60 years, correct? So we cannot take risk. That is why we need to know will something which will never go out of demand in the future, right? Now, the next thing which we have to look at is so something which I love. Now, what is that something which I will love doing throughout my life? So that is something which we have to keep in mind. So this circle which you are seeing here is something which I will love, something which will be industry demand and something which never goes out of fashion. But you see, I have kept the fourth circle still not there, correct? So we need the fourth circle. Now, what can be that fourth circle? Now, something that will keep giving you money permanently. Something which will keep giving you money permanently. If something which is an industry demand today, but it will never go out of fashion, it will keep giving me money forever and I will love doing that should be my career choice. Correct? Now, it can be molecular biology for you. It can be uh, genetics for you. It can be microbiology for you. It depends on the people. Like, we all are unique. Our choices are unique. And why this particular circle is important is because if in case you have all the three check, let's say this is check, this is check, this is check. Still, if I'm not enjoying my work, then I will never grow. For example talking to you all, guiding you all, helping you all. 
I enjoy that part. That is why you will see so many Biotechnica videos on the internet. Because I love doing what I do. Same way. So this part is checked for me. Same way. You have to find out which particular field will you enjoy today or you will keep enjoying in the future. That's something you have to find out. What will keep giving you money forever? What will never go out of fashion? And what is the current de uh, demand of the industry? So after my analysis, I found out that something which will never go out of fashion and something is current industry demand, which is here, I have something for you. Now, after a complete analysis of the entire industry, India, USA, Europe, Japan, China, Russia, after analyzing all the biotech markets, I have realized that AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning is never going to go out of fashion. It will improve, it will never decline. You can see it today. This video also is edited by AI assisted human. So a human is being assisted by AI to edit this video. Correct? Even the drugs, biological research will be assisted by AI. Even today's uh, microscopic images are being assisted by AI today in USA. So AI and machine learning is going to be always in fashion. But is it the industry demand of today? To some extent, yes, it is. But how? In which direction? That is where it comes as bioinfo. So majority of the students who love dry lab, they might love bioinformatics. Now, I'm not saying that bioinformatics might be something which you love. It, it can be something else. But definitely bioinformatics can be applied into any and every research which you are doing today. Let me know in the comment section if that's not true. So bioinformatics, AI, ML is what will help you. The next thing which you should know is what will keep being, be giving you money is something which where two fields will merge. And that we call it as ID, interdisciplinary. So there's no much space to write. So I've just written ID, interdisciplinary. Means where physics, chemistry and bi biology forget their boundaries. To be very frank, they were never supposed to be, they were never supposed to have boundaries, right? So, for example, we have now, uh, for the first time, NCBS is conducting a PhD where 14 departments are coming together, maybe 14 or more departments are coming together to do a PhD. So, interdisciplinary PhD, right? That is the need of the, that will help you bring more money. Next thing, what is something which will forever be there? Our body, which will forever be there if we have to exist. And that means there will be diseases, there will be ailments, there will be deficiency, there will be uh, problems in the body. And for all those problems, to fix those, pro fix those problems, we will need drug discovery. Definitely. Then we will need agriculture. Agriculture. Right? Food, nutrition, agriculture, drug discovery. They will never go out, go out of fashion. Right? So if you are making a career today in something which you love, which is never going out of fashion, which will keep giving you money forever, and is the industry demand, and it is tech driven. Because let's say for example, Antibiotic research takes 10 years. But today with AIML, we expect it to finish it in 1 to 2 years. Something which is assisted by technology will always be fast and whatever is fast will become the industry demand of tomorrow. Whatever is the trend today will become the tradition only if it is backed by technology such as AI, ML, computing, faster computing like quantum biology. Right? So these are the few things which you should be aware of. Then only you will be able to choose your career. So now tell me which career you would like to choose. Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any questions, comments or any feedback, let me know because I believe that any child out there who is not told the right direction will not succeed. You need success. You need direction. And you need the right direction. This, this Venn diagram is going to revolutionize the way you think about your career. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.